Uh, well, at the risk of sounding like I'm at the Oscars, I have a lot of people I'd like to thank. Uh, uh, first of all, I, I want to thank uh, Dr. Franz Cordova uh, and uh, Jim Carosa and uh, uh, Susie Iacona, who's had to put up with me through two different administrations, and the entire uh, NSF team for helping to lead the US Ignite and, uh, and Genie initiatives, and I want to thank uh, Bill Wallace and uh, uh, Glenn at, at Reichert at U.S. Ignite and Chip Elliott and Jeannie for bringing us together. And I particularly want to thank all of the companies and cities and nonprofit organizations uh, and members of the research community that have been both supporting U.S. Ignite uh, and Jeannie. Um, and I also want to uh, acknowledge uh, the, the hard work of uh, Nick Maynard on my team. Nick. Uh, uh, who has worked on uh, U.S. Ignite uh, since its inception. Um, and the reason I think that this work is so important is that we really need to do more uh, to imagine, prototype, and deploy uh, applications that take advantage of next generation networks, networks that are high speed, low latency, and programmable, uh, so that when reporters are uh, writing stories about uh, gigabit networks, they're not saying, well, the only thing this community could think of to do was to do, you know, five simultaneous downloads of high-definition movies. Uh, but we really have a, a raft of high-impact uh, applications to show people. Uh, and I, I'm really using applications in, in two different senses of, that, senses of that word. First of all, we need applications that are going to drive demand for next-generation networks in the same way that email instant messaging, search, uh, and social media uh, have driven demand for today's internet. And it's impossible to predict in advance uh, what those are going to be, but I think we can create the right environments or petri dishes uh, where researchers and entrepreneurs can experiment with applications such as virtual reality, uh, telepresence, uh, real-time collaboration, uh, uh, visualization and interaction with huge amounts of data, and out of that, these applications are likely to emerge. Um, second, we should also be exploring next generation applications that address uh, major economic and societal challenges, such as improving the quality of healthcare in rural communities, applications like teleechocardiography, uh, allowing Americans to gain the skills they need to compete for higher wage jobs, improving the competitiveness of small and medium-sized enterprises in manufacturing through simulation as a service, uh, enabling students to access unique resources such as uh, remote scientific instruments. Um, so Dr. Cordova and I, I this morning had an opportunity to, to see um, a uh, t telemicroscopy application uh, for K through 12 STEM education. <clears throat> and both uh, Genie and US Ignite have made a lot of progress uh, in recent years. Genie is bringing together over 300 networking researchers at over 60 uh, US campuses across the country and is creating a virtual test bed for new technologies <coughs> including distributing content, improving security, accessing remote computers, and enabling real-time collaboration. And through partnerships with leading networking companies, Genie has promoted software-defined networking which is forecast to be a $35 billion market by the year 2018. And US Ignite has led to over 100 application prototypes and concepts in, uh, in nearly three years time across 35 cities and regions. And it is nearing its goal of 60 advanced next generation applications capable of operating on gigabit networks um, in priority areas like healthcare and energy. Now on Monday, um, President Obama uh, at the White House Science Fair, uh, which is one of his uh, favorite uh, events of the year, uh, he got to uh, high school students uh, that were using support vector machines for computational drug discovery. Uh, and I don't know about you, what you were doing in high school, but I, I was certainly not working on support vector machines for computational drug discovery. But he also announced additional steps that his administration would be taking to promote broadband. And one of those steps is a summit on community broadband that will be held in June. 
the administration uses these events uh, not only to highlight the importance of an issue, but to feature new and expanded commitments uh, from government agencies, companies, foundations, state and local elected officials, universities, and, and nonprofit organizations. Um, so over the next couple months, uh, we're gonna be very interested in creative ideas for how we can increase a public and private investment, not only in this next generation infrastructure, but transformative applications that take advantage of that. So if you have ideas, uh, if, if you have an idea for a new or expanded commitment uh, that uh, you would like to be uh, featured at this uh, community broadband summit, uh, I would encourage you to get in touch with me and to, uh, to, to uh, with, with Nick Maynard uh, to tell us about your ideas. One uh, idea that I'm particularly interested in is that if you look uh, at the history of the internet, a lot of the uh, applications that have driven demand for it have been developed by students. So uh, Mark Andreessen, when he was an undergraduate uh, at the NSF-supported National Center for Supercomputing Applications, uh, developed the first uh, graphical web browser, Mosaic, which then le led to the Net Netscape browser. Uh, Google was developed by two uh, Stanford graduate students working on the NSF DARPA NASA digital library program. Um, so we have this rich history of uh, undergraduate and graduate students developing some of the applications that drive demand uh, for, for networks. And I've been very interested in how we would create the right environment on campuses that would allow students um, uh, to live in the future, uh, to have gigabit networks to the dorm room, uh, and to create the hardware and, and software development kits that allow them to prototype these next generation applications. Uh, so keep up the great work. You're doing uh, really important stuff, uh, and I look forward to continuing to work with you uh, to make the most of these new opportunities. Thank you very much.